Whether you're doing an oil change or just changing the filter, you'll want to take this cap off first. This hole is going to allow air to go in when oil is coming out through the bottom. If you're looking underneath your car and you don't see your oil filter, you may have to remove some underbody components to get to it. When Volkswagen made this car, they didn't want people stealing the underbody, so they put Torx head screws on it. Out you go. Here's the canister that holds the oil filter. Now if you were to try to take this off, there's a lot of oil in there and it's kind of suctioned on. You can remove that suction by taking this off. Once you get your socket onto it, you can put your regular socket wrench into it and start turning. Make sure you got your oil catcher underneath because it's going to start dripping soon. So you should always check to make sure the oil filter you got matches the one that came out of the car. HU719-6 and HU719-6. You won't always get that lucky though. Always check your box for other stuff. A general tip for any repair, look at the new part for tips on how to install it. Like for example, this o-ring has a little tab on it. That you can use to pull the old o-ring out and install the new one. If you want to be extra thorough, spray this stuff out with carb cleaner. Whenever I'm installing a new oil filter, I always like to fill it up with a little bit of oil. But be careful. Always consider the angle that you'll be installing it at. If you fill this thing up all the way and you install it at a 45 degree angle, then you're going to be spilling a lot of good oil. Or just looking to prevent a dry start, not give the chain of oil sales 10 more dollars to play with. Make sure you remember to put that little cap back on there, because even though oil doesn't come out of it just naturally, it'll get filled up with all kinds of dirt and then you won't be able to use it again. You want to put these on hand tight and then give them a few more turns choked up on the wrench so you don't put too much torque on it. These are usually made out of plastic so they're not meant to be torqued down real tight. That's why you always want to replace that seal. After the filters are placed, top it off with oil. If your car is still jacked up, you're going to get an inaccurate reading though. Alright, we're all set on oil so we can put that cap on and take it for a test drive. Yeah. 